Something big is going on out there. Some opinion polls at the weekend putting Labour 16 points ahead in the Red Wall constituencies. Is this because they've all fallen in love with Keir Starmer? No, no, something else is happening. The political parties haven't noticed. The media, of course, well, they never notice because they all live and work in central London. They don't get the country. Well, here it is. Reform UK, which came, of course, out of the Brexit party, is polling in double digit scores in those red wall northern constituencies, up to 15 percent in places like Barnsley. And it's happening because these are the voters who left the Labour Party and voted UKIP. These are the voters who voted Brexit Party. These are the voters, many of whom gave Boris Johnson a vote in December 2019 because they wanted to end the Brexit logjam and they wanted to take back control of their borders, which he promised. Well, here we are. We're two years on from that general election and they're beginning to feel a bit let down. What happens across the English Channel on every calm day is an affront to them. And they're seeing it because the northeast of England has 17 times the number of asylum seekers plonked there than does the southeast of England. So they're angry about that. We haven't taken back control of our borders and there's no prospect of it. But something else is happening. Boris and his posh mates have all decided that we're going to go green. We're going to rewild 30% of the English countryside so that we have to import more food. But hey, we'll pay farmers millions to do it. So everybody seems to be happy, but it's your fuel bills that really matter. Now, you may have picked up, there's a 5% VAT surcharge on your energy bills. We can remove that. Now we've left the European Union, we couldn't before. And the Labour Party, isn't this ironic? It's the Labour Party who are calling for taxes to be cut and the Conservatives who are insisting they must stay up. But here's the big one. When you get your electricity bill in the spring of this year, which coincides with tax increases, 25% of that bill is green subsidies. 25% of it, add on the VAT, a third of your bill is wholly unnecessary. And Johnson wants us to go green. He wants us to give vast amounts of money to foreign wind energy companies. He wants us to pay huge amounts of money so that the Drax power station, power station in Yorkshire can burn wood that's imported from America. They've lost their marbles on this because just a few weeks ago, the Chinese built the biggest ever coal-fired power station in the history of the world. So people are losing confidence because of the cost of living. It's all right for Mr. It's all right for Mr. Johnson and his posh friends in London. I mean, they can afford to pay big energy bills. Who knows? They've even got friends that do the wallpapering for them. I mean, it really is quite something. But the third and biggest reason people are switching to reform is they can see this is a prime minister who pretended to be one thing and he's another. We all hoped with Brexit there'd be a new kind of politics in Britain. No, we're back to the old Etonians, the Oxford PPE chumocracy. Oh, they get on very well with the house developers. They get on well with Big Pharma. They get on well with their big friends, many of whom finish up in the House of Lords. This government is just as bad as Osborne and Cameron. It's a chumocracy. They're totally detached, totally detached from ordinary folk living out in the country. And that is why this new revolt on the right, just as it happened with UKIP 10 years ago, is happening again. So I would suggest to you, that if you want to get this country back on track, start to control our borders properly, stop charging people ludicrous amounts on their gas and electricity bills, and actually get somebody in number 10 that believes in the country, then please join this peaceful revolution, because something needs to change, and PDQ.